First Chronicles 17, 1 through 5 says, And it came about when David dwelt in his house, that David said to Nathan the prophet, Behold, in a dwelling house of, I'm dwelling in a house of cedar, but the ark of the covenant is under the curtains. Now then Nathan said to David, Do what is in your heart, for God is with you. And it came about the same night, the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go to David and tell him, my servant, that this says the Lord, You shall not build a house for me to dwell in. I have not dwelt in a house since the day that I brought up Israel to this day, but I have gone from tent to tent and from one dwelling to another. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is 1 Chronicles 16, 37 through 715, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, I'm sure there was a strong sense of desire when David went to Nathan and asked if he should build a permanent dwelling place where God could be worshipped. And I'm sure that Nathan heard that question and assumed that that was something that God would want David to do. But God had different plans, and those plans did not include David building a temple. That news must have been devastating to David. So what do you do when you want to please God? And you feel that God would want you to do a particular activity, and you have a strong sense that you can accomplish that activity, and yet God tells you that you're not the one to do that. I'm sure that each one of us has probably experienced that situation at one time or another. I know that I've experienced it several times, and each time I question why. Now, it's not wrong to question why. It's not wrong to submit to God's will and just try and play the blame game. It is wrong not to repent and do just as David did by preparing as much as he could for another person to do that work. We, like David, must figure out what we can do to help. We can't just sit around and throw a pity party. All of us have disappointments. All of us have dreams that will not ultimately be fulfilled. But God is sovereign. God is loving. God will bring us through because he has plans for us. We must trust him for our best.